One year ago today, I launched my book, Amsterdam The Essence, at an event at the Westergasfabriek, where luminaries from all over the city came to celebrate the essence of Amsterdam. It started with a dream and an idea as I sat alone in my office in the west of the city. But before I knew it, the dream became reality as I met some of the most interesting characters of Amsterdam, people who are making the city what it is, whether they be artists, footballers, politicians or actresses. All of them were creating something in my favorite city. The result is a book which comprises 25 interviews with those individuals, together with many photographs taken by Pim Kops, the keyboard player from the Dijk, and Jos Vermanen, a specialist in uh, portrait photography. But unfortunately, not everything went according to plan, as just two and a half weeks before the launch of the book, I had an accident which left me in hospital with 19 broken bones. Luckily, thanks to having my girlfriend Sheila with me uh, solidly for 12 days and long after that, I managed to come back fighting fit and get together with the team that we created, a great essence team of Sarah Lochran, Anik van der Holst and Jos Vermaner, and Pim Kops. My friends rallied round to help me while incapacitated to make sure that the launch event all happened. And it was a great show. Performances from Lake Montgomery, Bus Costas and Shirley Hart, Fire Hopeless and Def P and the Howling Coyotes made it uh, really something to remember. Def P, Jan Janssen, Hink Schiffmacher, Job Cohen and many others interviewed for the book came to celebrate. The book went on sale uh, in many shops around Amsterdam, including Waterstones on the Kalverstraat, where we had a beautiful window display and a presentation evening with plenty of signings and talk about how the book was made. But it didn't just stop there. We also made films, capturing Jupp van het Heck reading the Laatste Woord, anonymous street artist Laser 3.14 and how he roams the streets finding his locations for his tags and the inimitable Henk Schiffmacher talking about how the city communicates with him. And the concept of the absence captured people's imagination as Def P painted it. Laser tagged it. Amsterdam TV presented it. Time Out Amsterdam and special Amsterdam newspaper at Parole wrote about it. And companies bought it in special editions with unique covers, including I Amsterdam, the city marketing organization, giving away 350 copies to their partners at their yearly event. And a special edition has been launched for Waterstones Amsterdam, including a DVD with all the movies and an interview with the author. So what's next for The Essence? Well, I've been looking at how I can convert this book into a digital book for the iPad. And using iBooks author, it's possible to take all of those photographs and the stories and even the movies and convert them into a package that works on the iPad. This is just a sneak preview. The full product will be available on iBooks at the end of June. My final thoughts a year on after launching the Amsterdam The Essence are all about the team of people that I met along the way. Individuals who gave a lot of time and a lot of energy because they believed in the project and they care about our city. And that in itself is a piece of the essence of Amsterdam.